Welcome to our very first sprint review. In last week's video, I spent quite a bit of time explaining how this whole process works, and I selected 10 items that I was going to be working on during this past week, and I actually feel good about what I accomplished, even though when we go through the board here, you'll see that of those 10 items, I only accomplished one. I only accomplished one. I mentioned that there were 10 items that I was going to be working on and all of those items were really around uh, two basic ideas. Getting a winery building designed and getting a vineyard shop building designed. Originally when I started the sprint my idea was that I was going to put in a vineyard shop building uh, right next to the vineyard and I was going to do a winery building in the same footprint as the old store building. And the store building, the roof is starting to fall down and you can see the wall here is collapsed because the other side of the building, here's where the roof has collapsed. Uh, there's some asbestos in the floor tiles in the kitchen that needs to be removed. Uh, that whole building just needs to come out and then my thought was well I'll use that same foundation and there's a retaining wall on one side of the building I'll reuse all that and just put a metal building in its place as, as I was going through and working on these items for a couple of reasons I decided to change up that plan the cinder block walls that are in the footprint for the old store building don't really match up well with how I'd like to utilize the footprint of a winery building. And then also having two separate buildings, I was gonna have a bathroom in each, and I'm not sure exactly what a bathroom costs these days, but I used to figure about $25,000 to build a bathroom. So my new plan is to do a larger building at the same location as I was originally thinking for the vineyard shop, and I'll make that building both vineyard shop and winery. And right in the middle of those two spaces, I'll have a single restroom. So it'll be a cost savings. I think it'll be a lot more efficient. It's also just one building to run utilities to. So giving you the specific updates on these items. Uh, so the, the, the single item that I am considering done is getting the asbestos and demolition quotes. I've got those, I've actually selected a contractor to do the asbestos removal. So that one item is done. One of the items that I started working on but haven't finished is developing a list of the winery equipment that I need. And the reason for developing this list is to get the sizes of the equipment so that I can make sure that the equipment will actually fit in the building. One of the wineries that I was managing in California, we bought a bunch of new tanks and the tanks were too big to fit through the door so we actually had to cut a hole in the ceiling and then get a crane to lift up the tanks and drop them through the ceiling. Now we knew when we ordered the tanks that they were going to be too big to fit through the door but big tanks, the ones that we ordered, was the best way to utilize the footprint inside the building. So we kind of knew what we were getting ourselves into but I would like to avoid that for my winery so I want to make sure that everything will actually fit through the roll-up doors. So designing the winery building, I've gone through a couple of drafts. I mentioned that I was originally looking at doing it on the footprint of the old store building. Now I'm combining it with the vineyard shop building. So I've got two drafts, but the third draft, which I think will be the final one, I'm still working on. And the definition of done on this one is when I've got enough detail ready to take to the architect. Designing the wastewater system. Uh, again, I've got 
tank types and screen types and I've got an idea of how I'm going to lay things out. But the actual design of the process wastewater system is going to be determined by where the winery slash vineyard building goes on the property and how some other things fall out. One possibility is to put the process waste screen and collection system right next to the winery building. If I do that, I'm gonna to need to use a pump to pump from the floor drains into the holding tanks, and then a second pump to pump the water to the sprinklers. But the property has a lot of elevation change, and so I might be able to find a location where I can just gravity the water from the floor drains down into the collection tanks. And then I'll only need one pump to send the water from the tanks to the sprinklers. So that one's not done because I don't have a location yet. Measuring and plotting the foundation, CMU walls, windows and doors for the old store building. Uh, this one I can actually get rid of. It's not relevant anymore since I'm not going to be putting the winery building in this spot. So actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and cheat here and move this one to done. Designing the vineyard shop, that goes hand in hand with winery building now since these are going to be a single building. Okay, order the apple rootstock. I actually did complete that one, so I'll move it to done. So I ordered 10 rootstock, a rootstock called G214, which should be a good fit for the property. It's a dwarfing rootstock and it's got good cold tolerance and resistance to several diseases. Finishing off the items that were on our list for sprint number one, create a building's outline. I didn't even start on that. Uh, creating a Charmant procedure. I actually did start on that one, but I need to find a table, a reference that converts parts per million of carbon dioxide to pressure of carbon dioxide. So I know those tables exist. I have a couple of books that I need to look through to find the information, but I just haven't put the time to this project to get it wrapped up. And then collecting my 2021 tax stuff, haven't started on that one. So there's a little bit of organization here that I'm gonna do now. Um, actually, first though, I should talk about these items. So these that I moved down to the bottom weren't in our backlog when we started the sprint, but I was able to pull them from this part of the board. The most important one was updating the site plan. I was able to get on the schedule for the civil engineer's surveyor. He came out on Friday and marked or took uh, positions of the fence lines and several trees, got those onto the site plan and e emailed an updated site plan to me over the weekend. So now I've got all the information that I need to confirm exactly where I want to put this combination vineyard slash winery building. And uh, with the fence lines and the trees on the site plan, it'll be a lot easier for me to look at the piece of paper and translate that to the actual site. And then also the surveyor, he actually took the site plan and overlaid it onto an aerial photo. So now it's much easier to make the connection between the paper and the property. So this was a big one. It was in the ready column. I didn't have it scheduled, so I didn't know if I was actually gonna be able to do it during sprint number one. But fortunately, everything worked out and now that one is done. And then this one in the doing column is the state asbestos permit. And I mentioned that I selected a contractor to do the asbestos removal. He has already put in the application for the permit. It takes a couple of weeks for the state to process. And once he has the permit, then he'll schedule the work. But this sticky was over in my build a winery epic. So I moved it from here to doing, even though I'm not the one doing it, having it here is kind of a reminder to follow up on it. Okay, so uh, I mentioned that these are basically the same project. And I'll move these others up just to tidy the column. So in my sprint backlog, I still have create the buildings outline, which I don't 
is, I don't think it's priority anymore. Eventually I'll need it, but I'm specifically focused on getting this building designed and in the works. The other future buildings I'm not so concerned about right now. So I'm gonna pull this out of the backlog. The tech stuff one definitely needs to stay on the backlog. Okay, so we've gone through everything from sprint number one. So I'm gonna clear out the done column. I'm just gonna stick these over here. So now that we're starting sprint number two, as I finish these items, they'll move into the done column. But I also need to populate the sprint backlog with new items. So I'll do that now. So again, it may be more than I can accomplish in a single sprint, especially since I'm still working on these items, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So the first item is sending site plan notes to the civil engineer. It's basically telling them where I want to put that combination vineyard slash winery building so that they can work on the grading around it. Then I've got two related to submitting septic permit applications to the county. The county is three months out on evaluating septic sites. So I want to get onto their list as soon as possible. We're at the time of year where I need to tap the maple trees that I marked out in a video of several weeks ago. Uh, we've got nighttime temperatures below freezing, daytime temperatures above freezing. So it's time to tap the maple trees. I do still need to collect my 2021 20, tax stuff and get that off to the CPA. Order a trailer. So this is basically just an off-road utility trailer that I'll be using for a bunch of different projects on the property. All of the trailer manufacturers that I've been looking at are between four to eight or even 10 or more weeks out. So I need to decide which one I'm gonna go for, get it ordered so it'll be here in time for all the spring projects. So organize computer files. During this last sprint, I found myself wasting a bunch of time redoing research that I'd already done. There were things that I thought I'd saved to my computer that I guess I didn't, or if I did, I just wasn't able to find them. So I need to be more organized about where I file the results of the research that I do, either for things related to the classes that I'm taking or for these various projects. So getting that done should afford me more time to actually work on the items in each sprint. Research a vineyard mower. So uh, this is another one where if I find something that I want to order, it's probably going to take two, three, four, five <laughs> months before it's actually available. Uh, there are some specific requirements that I have in mind and I'll probably do a video about this because it's, uh, it's not just your standard zero turn mower or even a three point hitch uh, bush hog or finish mower. There's some specific requirements that I'm looking for. So determine what variety slash rootstocks to plant. I'm probably only going to plant a third or maybe a half of the vineyard in this upcoming spring, or not this upcoming spring, but a year from this spring, so spring of 2023. But still, I need to get an order into the nurseries so that they can do the grafting so that the plants are ready to go a year from this upcoming spring. So we've got a lot on the board here for sprint number two. Will I be able to get it all done? Well, I guess we'll have to wait until next week's video to find out. So I hope you enjoy these detailed update videos. If so, please click the like button it's a real peek behind the curtain showing you what's involved in starting a homestead winery. So I look forward to seeing you in the next update. In the meantime, take care of yourself and cheers.